Yo, what's going on guys? The Great King 22 here today. We're back with some more reaction content. Checking out WrestleMania. Just a bunch of wrestling news, right? So we got talking about Roman Reigns probably leaving WWE for some time. Huge WrestleMania twist. Goldberg AEW. That's all I know because that's what's in the title. Let's just see what's in it, right? Hey guys, what is going on? This is WrestleMania back with another episode. Join us now as WrestleMania looks at the wildest wrestling news stories and rumors you need to know, including rumors on a main event twist at WrestleMania, talk Roman Reigns is taking an extended hiatus, the tribal chief lays in a solo Sokoa after Raw, a top star won't be on Dynamite, is Tony Khan interested in signing Goldberg, and more. Rumor, is WWE planning a twist for WrestleMania main event? Topping today's news is a wild rumor concerning WrestleMania's main event of Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns for the Undisputed Championship. I hope they don't do something like, oh, Cody's about to win or something, or Roman's about to win or something, and then The Rock comes out or something stupid like that. I really hope that doesn't happen. Please, no. Please no. While WrestleMania doesn't think this is a spoiler, you may want to jump to our next story just in case. Dave Meltzer reports that WWE may not have Cody Rhodes defeat Roman Reigns at Crown Jewel. According to Diamond Dave, you know, the American Dream's son wins in Arabia. That's that's an ironic twist, but I don't I don't expect that to happen. But Roman will probably defend against somebody there. While Meltzer didn't state what he's basing his take on, it is known that WWE likes to book mega matches for its Saudi Arabia shows, with the Saudis expecting each one to be a WrestleMania-level show. There are also rumors that Triple H still hasn't figured out who will go over at Mania. WrestleMania is skeptical about reports that Triple H doesn't have the finish for Rhodes Reigns figured out yet, as he's known for long-term booking rather than hastily throwing together shows. Is Roman Reigns taking an extended leave? Is Roman Reigns taking an extended I mean, we can, like, think about it, right? I want Cody Rhodes to win because if we all think about it, in my opinion, three years has been way too long. It's been great, right? Good story. But it's become to the point where, like, Roman Reigns win, I'm just sitting there, like, just deep sigh, like, ah, of course he won. Now another month of part-timer Roman just sitting there and coming every other couple of weeks and just doing a promo not even wrestling turning into Brock Lesnar oh I only wrestle off pay-per-views this is why I want Cody to win it's been a great story great run but I hope it falls apart I hope Jey Uso over here throws the match for the tag titles and then drags Jimmy with him to leave the bloodline and then stuff will happen then I don't know what would happen after with Solo really or with Paul Paul might just become a free agent I don't know I want something to happen there with like Jay turning on Roman just throwing the tag, tag titles right and and then just dipping like just bringing Jimmy with him votes and give me sports Louis Dangor let's look at two tweets concerning this scenario give me sport tweeted Roman Reigns is expected to take a significant break following WrestleMania, WrestleVotes tells Give Me Sport. The belief is that the undisputed WWE Universal Champion could even be missing until SummerSlam in August. WrestleVotes added, Adding to this, I'm told this is contingent on if or when Reigns eventually loses the titles. As of now, those plans are not certain. As you can see, this report does not state when the WWE intends to have Reigns drop the belts. While the WWE seems to be setting the stage for a Reigns loss, this wouldn't be the first time fans have thought he'd drop the title. The head of the table has enjoyed a light schedule ever since signing a new deal with WWE. 
It'll be interesting to see what he does with any extended leave. Will he take time off to spend with his family? Will he pursue any movie roles? The WWE couldn't have set up a better scenario for Roman to lose the title and leave. First, there's the storyline of Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens reuniting to take out the Usos. Second, there's the white-hot program of Cody Rhodes vying to win the title his father couldn't. Cody's promo on the 20th March Raw hinted how things could play out, with Roman losing the title and losing everything. Nonetheless, Ringside News tweeted the WWE is keeping things open for what happens after WrestleMania. I was told that Roman and Cody's Raw segment was setting up multiple paths for post-mania, and Cody's promo ending with multiple ways for the bloodline to go, that is, Roman and Heyman, and they are playing it very close to their vests. Plenty of rumors to sort through, and you can be sure the WWE wants to keep fans guessing about who will win right until WrestleMania. Bloodline made eventing both nights at WrestleMania? It's a bloodline world, and we're just living in it. At least that's WrestleMania's take on things, if the following tweet from WRKD Wrestling is accurate. Why, though? I feel like it should be Rhea Ripley and, Sh Rhea Ripley and Charlotte on night one main event. Because what's the point of winning the Women's Royal Rumble? Granted, we've had Royal Rumble winners in the past, like Sheamus or whatever. I'm pretty sure when he won the Rumble, that was the first match of the night, and he won it in like 17 seconds or some shit. So, However, after the match is made official tonight, we stand firm that Zayn Owens versus the Usos will main event WrestleMania night one. While the Usos versus Sammy and KO is a hot program, Dave Meltzer recently reported that some WWE officials believe Rhea Ripley versus Charlotte Flair will headline the Showcase of Immortals first night. Roman Reigns admonishes Solo. Yeah, Sikoa. I mean, that's the whole point, right? For this to be the main event. But at the same time, I could see it not happening. Because the Rhea and Charlotte storyline is not hot right now. The hottest thing that's happened was that brawl on Raw or whatever. That lasted for like five minutes straight. <laughs> that was the most interesting thing that's happened ever since that storyline started. After Rio won. Well, after Raw. A video is circulating on social media showing Roman Reigns admonishing Solo Sokoa after Roman's confrontation with Cody Rhodes mm. on this week's Raw. This is an interesting development as it's a reminder of the apparent problems within the bloodline. In case you missed Raw or our news on the show, Cody Rhodes told the Enforcer he's not ready to take him on, leading to Solo staying in the ring after Roman and Paul Heyman left. Solo went to attack Cody, only to charge into a boot. Roman had to remove Solo from the ring, a situation some believe shows that Reigns is losing control of the bloodline. What do you make of this development? Main eventer won't be on Dynamite. Current AEW... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, um... I don't know what they're doing with Solo. Because I don't know what Solo is except an off brand Umaga, right? So, what, what, where do they go with Solo? Do they put Solo back in NXT after the Bloodline ends? I don't, under, I don't know what they do. The only reason they brought him up was for the Bloodline. And that's on Gaw. <laughs> so, I don't know what they're doing with him. Champion MJF is a controversial figure in wrestling, but fans apparently won't get to see him on tonight's Dynamite, as PW Insider Elite reports that he's <laughs> not on the schedule for AEW's flagship show. The report did note that MJF was spotted in Los Angeles this week. This shouldn't come as a surprise given the rumors that MJF is exploring options in Hollywood. Wrestling's Salt of the Earth has a role in the upcoming biopic about the legendary Von Erich wrestling family. Is Yeah, I saw... Uh... It's a bunch of stuff. I saw MJF on a few, like, podcasts. I saw him on that uh, Impractical Jokers episode. I think I saw him somewhere else, too. So, I mean, it makes sense that he's exploring other paths. Now that Bill Goldberg is apparently a free agent, there's plenty of talk about where he might end up, assuming he wants to continue wrestling. 
AEW president Tony Khan was recently interviewed by YouTuber Adrian Hernandez and had this to say about Big Bad Bill. I have a lot of respect for Bill. I think Bill Goldberg is a great professional athlete and has had a great career in pro wrestling and is a very nice person. He's a household name in pro wrestling, so it's interesting to hear that he is a free agent, and so that's something to follow. He's one of the biggest names in wrestling and certainly will be something else to keep an eye on for us. Would you like to see Goldberg? Tony, 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 what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Let us know in the comments below. <clears throat> Tony Khan talks up Mercedes Monet. Goldberg wasn't the only free agent Tony Khan mentioned during his YouTube chat. When asked about Mercedes Monet, who it is believed will become a free agent soon as her current deal in Japan Sasha is Banks. to expire, working at the AEW New Japan Forbidden Door event. He commented, It's a very encouraging thing to hear. I have so much respect for Mercedes. I think she's such a great pro wrestler and certainly one of the best in the world. Any wrestling company in the world, including AEW, is fortunate to have Mercedes. Currently, she is the world champion for our partner and JPW, and I think she's a great champion for them. Monet has made it clear that she's not looking for any long-term wrestling deals. However, Forbidden Door is another story, as Mercedes could show up and wrestle a match. Khan noted, I'm glad she brought up Forbidden Door, as it's going to be an exciting event. Certainly, the shadow of Mercedes is looming large in NJPW right now. When AEW and NJPW clash at Forbidden Door, it'll be very interesting to see what happens. She's certainly one of their top stars, and it makes for a very interesting situation going into Forbidden Door. Last year's Forbidden Door show saw several New Japan Pro Wrestling wrestlers appear on AEW prior to the event to hype it. Might Mercedes appear on AEW TV if she decided to work Forbidden Door? WWE looking at pushes for two new stars. That's hard to like pay, keep track of, right? They just keep mentioning Mercedes, Mercedes, Mercedes. I'm like, oh, bro. I know her as Sasha Banks. <laughs> Mercedes is hard to keep up with. Stars and current Raw star? The WWE Universe could see two NXT superstars get a big push when they make their main roster debut. WRKD Wrestling is reporting two NXT talents slated to be main roster mainstays in the next few months following WrestleMania are Cameron Grimes and Braun Breaker. Mm -hmm. Cameron Grimes' debut should be happening soon. While it's unknown when the WWE plans on taking the NXT Championship off Breaker, although it... Braun Breaker already debuted. And I don't know what happened to that. But it feels like they said, nah, go back to NXT. <laughs> we busy or something, I don't know. Could have him work both NXT and the main roster. Last month, the WRKD Twitter account also reported that Chad Gable is set for a big run in singles action. The WWE seems to be leaning towards this based on OTs being torn away from his loyalty to Gable and the allure of Maxine Dupree's modeling agency. Undertaker reveals when he won't sign autographs. Asking wrestlers for an autograph can be an exciting opportunity for fans, but as recent news has shown, not everyone is respectful of wrestlers' personal space when they're not on the job. One person who has made it clear about his policy for signing autographs is The Undertaker, who discussed his signing protocol with The Bet Las Vegas. My kids play sports and it becomes a thing every weekend. People will come up and say, hey, can I have an autograph or a picture? I appreciate you being a fan, but I'm not The Undertaker right now. I'm dad this weekend, and hopefully you understand that. Taker added that in other circumstances, he'll accommodate fans who are respectful. I'd say 95% of the people really do understand. Occasionally, you get somebody that is just so entitled that they feel like you're a dick. If you don't understand, then I guess I am. What do you think of the Phenom's take on autographs? Carmella takes I mean... time off? That makes sense, right? Who? That makes sense, right? Like, completely understandable. I'm not the Undertaker right now. I'm here for <laughs> my child. I'm any other parent at the moment. But also, like, yeah, if you're respectful, I'll take a picture with you or something real quick. But yeah, I definitely wouldn't want to go around and be sitting there doing pictures and autographs every step I take. And definitely would not want some entitled prick to walk up to me and be like, Hey, give me an autograph. Like, what? <laughs> I don't need to give you anything. Take on autographs. Right? Carmella taking time off? Where was Carmella on the 20th March Raw? The two-time SmackDown Women's Champion was scheduled to team with her new bestie, Chelsea Green, to take on Bianca Belair and Asuka 
but was replaced by Piper Niven. Apparently, that wasn't the only show Mella missed. As a Fightful Select write-up notes, Carmella was off this weekend's house shows as well. The plan had been to continue with she and Chelsea Green, but the decision was made over the weekend to replace her with Piper Niven. Nobody we spoke to had an update. The current word is that Carmella will continue her team with Chelsea when she returns. WrestleMania will continue monitoring this story. Okay. WWE unveils new SummerSlam logo. Last but not least, while SummerSlam is still a few months away, the WWE has unveiled its logo for this year's biggest party of the summer. As Ooh. Wrestling News Angel Aaron Bolles pointed out, the logo has evolved over the years, and in recent years, they have tried to do something similar to what they do with the WrestleMania logo, with the colors and look matching what the city is most known for. In this case, they're keeping in line with the Motor City vibe. If the rumors of a John Cena versus Logan Paul match prove true, this year's PLE... Hold on. What kind of hot ass Hot Wheels shit is this, bro? What the hell? It's like a Metroid fucking Metropolis. Little Hot Wheel, I don't even know logo. That's a weird. In this case, they're keeping in line with the Motor City vibe. If the rumors of a John Cena versus Logan Paul match prove true, this year's PLE is already on its way to becoming a must-see show. Well, guys, there you have it. The what? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not with the Logan Paul John Cena thing. I mean, I'd watch it, right? <laughs> but yeah. Okay. It's a lot of stuff there. Biggest news, really. Um. Uh, bloodline stuff, all this, all this bloodline stuff right here. That's biggest news, right? My my thoughts, I really, I really want there to get to a moment, right, in the match to where Jay has to make a decision and Jay drops the titles. Like he, like... He either just takes a fall, or I don't see him leaving Jimmy out for dry, so I think he'll just take a fall on purpose, or something like, something to that effect, and drop the titles. On purpose. And then just taking Jimmy and getting out of there. And just like dip for like three weeks, right? I don't know. Because I don't know how true the uh, Roman's taking a leave of absence. I think he probably will. I don't know when or how long. <sighs> but I feel like if they go the Jay throwing route, right? I think Jay would have to take Jimmy and they'd have to dip, like hide for like a couple weeks. And then that they'd have to deal with the aftermath of Roman being there with either him winning or losing, I don't know. Hopefully lose. With them with no titles, with only solo and Paul Heyman. And then Roman will be like more snappy or something like that and It'll just keep putting pressure on Solo and to that effect. I don't know. I didn't hate the idea of <laughs> Paul Heyman being a free agent for going to somebody else, but I don't know who. Because usually he would go to people who have trouble doing promos, right? Cause I don't know when he first went with Roman. Roman was always having trouble with promos, and when he was with Brock, Brock, tr Brock's trouble with promos, right? So that's that's usually where he goes, cause he just goes and compensates for a wrestler's weakness. And if doing promos is a wrestler's weakness, and they're good at everything else, then that's where he'll go. So that's why I don't know where where Paul will end up there, but either way. That's just some thoughts and some wrestling news that we just watched, but 
Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, want to see more stuff like this. And yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe because it all helps out the channel. I'll check you guys next time. And goodbye.